last week on Gulf Coast Nation. Slaughter so doing right there, baby. I want to introduce you guys to Jack Smith. Jack is a brand new hire on of Gulf Coast Nation. 90 miles offshore. Pop. Oh, that's the biggest black thing ever. My first black fin on popper, on the punch train jig popper. And this guy. Gulf Coast Nation is sponsored by Sandbar Tackle, keeping you hooked. Steadfast Rods, the name says it all. Andy Andrews, New York Times best-selling author. Terra Firma Tackle. Austin Legacy Knives, every knife has a story. Tell yours. Blink Slate Customs. Fish Gum, Excite the Strike. Pontchartrain Jigs. Catch you guys on Friday, just in a few days, towards the end of the week here, where we finish up this episode, where I show you guys the epic action we're about to have, chunking these black fin out for big yellow fin, and then how epic this morning bite is going to be. Cutting up these tuna to get good whole chunk bait. So first things first, to before you ever chunk, you have to have good fresh chunk bait. Obviously that's ideal. So we've got black fin tuna, like I was talking about earlier, but Jack's gonna walk you guys through how to but properly chunk also, them up. Always come prepared. Always bring a box. Yeah. Of yeah, so we brought a box of a five pound box of pogies that we already chunked up. So better to have it and then not need it than need it and not have it. Is that how that goes? Yeah. Sounded right. Sounded good. You want to take your black fin? You want them to be dead first so they're not flipping around on you or whatever? Of course. You're going to start right behind that peck fin. You know, when you're chunking, you don't. You don't now, want to savor all the meat because everything's going to get used. And Jack's defense, this knife is completely dull, so it's it's a bait knife. It's a true bait knife. Let's just cut oh all the gosh. way through, deep down to the bone. Get about, I don't know, just above a finger width section. Just going to make slices all the way down through the stomach. Keep hitting that backbone. Yeah, I'm not going to cut you. <laughs> A wider section at the back for chunks it's with not... our hooks in them. All right. Start down at the stomach, put the knife in down, cut in that first chunk, and you should be able to just slide right down all the way. Make sure you get all the way through the back. It's nice little cubes. You want a section of skin. It's not an exact science. They'll pretty much eat anything. Hmm. Planes over here popping while we're doing this, and there are some huge blow ups way over here. I don't know if you can see them or not, but all right, probably not because they have a dang GoPro. All right, so now that you're through, Ooh. you got them chunks, they were ready to come off. You're just gonna go down just like you're filleting a fish, just cut all of them out. Look at that, come out in sheets. Oh, look at those chunks! Get these chunks, pull them all out. Put them in your chunk bucket. Right in our bucket there. All of our oh, that's the black fin. And that's it. Look at that. Ooh, that is perfect. Fresh. Mm -hmm. Kind of just want to take a bite out of that. Go for it. Go for it. Let's try this. That's going to be gross. It's going to be really gross. Here's a little soy sauce. I'm not eating that. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's good. Fresh seafood. Yeah, I mean, that's how you cut your chunks off your black fin. Ooh, a little slab right there, out. Good to go. Yep. Then we've got, bop, tuna head for shark bait. We're gonna chunk these up, and then um, we'll meet you guys here in just a second, show you guys how we like to chunk for big yellowfin tuna. So, we got our bucket of chunks over there, and all kinds of goodies in there. Right now, we better start chunking. We got two people on the rods out the back. Basically, idea is, Throw a handful of those chunks, one of which has a hook in it, and we're gonna just gonna be sitting here, just feeding it out. Got the reel and free spool. Just 
making it look like it's just a floating piece of chum so they don't think anything of it and then when you feel that bite let go flip it up crank down on it it's the sickest bite you'll get jack's about to get his chunk in i'm gonna get mine in here in a second ideally if you guys are new to chunking you would want you know one person just chunking baits into the water keeping that you know chunk slick going one person on a rod and then one person you know being the captain here mr blaine's gonna drive for us what he's doing is basically we are the current is pushing back into the rig so we're drifting our baits back into the rig we're a good ways off the rig and uh, blaine's just keeping the head into the rig that way both of our baits you know we don't cross get tangled or anything like that and then um you know like jack said we're gonna just keep you know you don't want to put any tension on your bait so it falls naturally but you obviously don't want too much line in the water to uh you know risk tangling or tangling up in the motor or the prop or something like that so obviously sandbar tackle five out hooks to about a six foot section of numbers or number 60 pound fluorocarbon um we keep 80 60 and 40 on the boat at all times if they get really leader shy on 60 go down to 40 obviously um, if you think you can get away with 80 that would be the best case scenario so you can give them more beans and then we've got our mac 20 here with 60 pound mono on top and a thousand yards of 80 pound braid underneath and we're setting our strike setting right about 17 pounds we're gonna get baits in let's do it ah. <laughs> Get up! Fuck up, you're up. Hooked up, hooked up, hooked Unless up, hooked up. You want up. me to take it? Oh! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Hold on, I need the, I need the cup. Okay, turn it to your right side. Oh, here, hit him if you need. All right, all right, all right. Gotcha. All right, we're in there. I can't see the line, so someone's going to have to tell me where you're at. All right, Jack's hooked up, just got absolutely piped. Took a big run, got a couple turns. You got, you got, you got, you got. Now we're both side, baby. Woo! Took a lot of line. Little late night bite, little late night bite action here. Ooh, look at that water, guys. Look at that water. Then switch me out and I'll drive. Alright. Alright. Right. shark. Big shark? Alright, uh, took a break from chunking here. Got that one shark, made three more passes, no luck. So we are popping. Popping for blackfin, popping for yellowfin, baby. It's 3.30 in the morning. We've got a couple hours before daylight, so... Got a little bit of time to kill. Uh, yo. Yeah. Woo! Jack's on him, baby. Full hook. Out here at the rig, throwing the old punch train jigs popper, baby. And we got blue up on here, right in the lights. And this thing, I can't tell if it's a Cuda. Woo! Oh. That's a tuna. But we were just seeing kudos, that's how I was throwing at, trying to get some more shark bait. And uh, this thing blew up on it and left the house. But it dove deep. It's right. Ah, false alarm. Old shark on the popper here. What we got? What we got, Dylan? Ooh, tough water popper, baby. 
No punch train jigs pop. I'm pretty sure we just had a giant Cuda blow up on it. We were popping. Oh, it is. Big old Cuda. Keep them tight, baby. Adam so ah, just blew up. Freaking. Oh my God! Yes! Go on, Adam! Get him up here. Stay with him. Step down. Step down. Woo! Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Adam just got blew up on by a black fin. Oh, uh, do not put the boat in you. I'm not. Oh, he's chased. No, he's not. Blackfin was bigger than you think he was. I saw it. I have those. We're going. Don't high stick it. Short pumps. No Just pump keep pump. that popper as tight as you can. <laughs> and I can put his poppers out. Gosh, yes. Spin the boat on him. He got ate by a marlin. Yeah, mm. marlin. Gosh, fellas, that was sick. That was so cool. It's more poppers. It's more poppers. Yes, oh, baby. Pop oh, baby. I want to try to get one on the. Gym. All right, so Adam was sick basically all night last night. Missed all the tuna popping action. Ooh. Those are two. Those are anyways, anyways. So Adam was sick all night last night. Miss all the action. Woke up this morning, felt a little bit better, and our one goal today was to get Adam on a on a on a tuna, and he just got blew up on on top water popper by a pretty big black fin. But the chunk the chunk was a no go this morning or last night early this morning. Live bait was a no go. So it's a it's, a, it's an exciting thing. It's flattened out today. Water's beautiful. We rolled up an old beer can here and found. A black fin that wanted to play. Forward, drive forward. Real. No, I don't think so. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Don't pump. Left, left, left. Time with him, man. Take your time with him. Oh my gosh. Hey, what's up? Don't hide it. Don't hide it. Go down. Can I spin him? Yeah, probably. That is a very big barracuda. We're, we're chase coming back around. Look how big that coot is. You don't know? Alright, Adam, you're gonna have to start horsing him. 
Where, where is he? There you go. Where's my friend? Collar? Collar, he's right here. Right, right, right. It's a elephant! It's a elephant! Move, move. Just gas up. You ready? Yeah, I know. In the boat, 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 in the boat. That is crazy, bro. Get some pictures with that boy. That's insane. Look at the colors on this thing, man. I saw him and I was like, that's going to be a giant black fin. Dude, oh sideways. my gosh. Hey, smart. Let's get pictures with this guy. Why he's still, he's still got good color on him. Turn sideways, turn sideways, turn sideways. <laughs> So we just got to Blaine's dad's house, Mr. Mark. And Blaine's going inside to tell him, he told him earlier on the phone that we just caught a barracuda and a chicken dolphin. He has no idea that we caught tuna in the boat today. So we're about to surprise Mark with what we got. Hey Adam, how you doing? What's going on? Hey, Good to see you. I'm so proud my boys made it back hey, safely. Hey, well, you know what? When you do everything that you can to make sure that everything out of your control is as best as it can be, and you still don't catch it, there's not, not a whole lot you can do. Oh, what? Oh, you lying! You put the lying for <laughs> What? Oh! Out, man. Look at those boys. Oh, Thank gosh, you out. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Y'all held it together, didn't you? Show them that black thing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. How yeah. awesome. Man, I was sitting there trying to figure out. <laughs> I'll make you guys feel better. <laughs> Check out the black fin on pop oh, top man. water. Check it out. Every it's tuna a... was on top water popper except for mine was on Are live you bait. Serious? Yeah. Adam got a oh, yellow fin this morning, the bigger incredible. one. Incredible. Mm -hmm. It was wow. You know what? I should have read you. Because you had a, a big grin across your face. I can't hide you were the it. Only no, one yeah, he had didn't. a big grin on his face. I almost told Adam to stay in the truck. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. Yes, sir. Four black fin. We chunked two. We have kept two. There's the other one. That was, that was the other two and small guys like oh, that. Oh my gosh. Blew up this morning. 